Hey YouTube, it's Kenneth here. Today we're going to talk about Musical Instruments Digital Interface, otherwise known as MIDI. MIDI is a specification that's really easy to understand if you can understand how this works. This is a remote control. MIDI works pretty much like a remote control does. Um, it controls multiple devices. This particular remote control uh, controls the TiVo um, and it also controls my television. Um, simply by me pressing buttons and sending signals. It has multiple functions such as volume control and I can also do pause. So those are just some of the functions that a uh, remote control can do and um, oddly enough MIDI actually has similar types of controls. The thing to remember about MIDI is that it is not the source. In other words, this remote control is not what is being displayed on this television right now. It doesn't produce this signal. It only produces signals for controlling the television or the TiVo or other devices. Here's another remote control. This remote control is called a MIDI controller because it controls multiple devices that are musical in nature. Um, it produces signals whenever you touch different buttons and sliders. Um, there are multiple different functions on the MIDI controller um, just like the TiVo remote. We've got play and pause and rewind. We've got knobs and we've also got drum pads on this particular MIDI controller. The thing to remember about MIDI controllers is that they do not produce any sounds just like the TiVo remote. They don't do anything except for control other musical devices. My TiVo sends signals through the air. My MIDI controller sends signals through a cable like this this cable has uh, five pins on it. Those five pins are designed to go in one direction into a MIDI port. These are your MIDI ports. Um, normally there are three MIDI ports defined in the MIDI specification. I have two of them here. The MIDI out port will send signals out anytime you press on the keyboard or you, you know, manipulate knobs or controllers. And the MIDI in will receive signals from any device that's producing MIDI signals. The MIDI through is the third type of port that you'll find sometimes. The MIDI through takes the signal in and passes it immediately out through the, the MIDI through. And what good is that? Well, you can actually bridge instruments together. Um, there are actually MIDI through boxes that are designed to, to take one input and split the, out, split the input into uh, multiple different outputs. Okay, that's it. Next time we're going to take a look at the musical instruments themselves, uh, understand a little bit more about the signals that they consume and the signals that they produce, and um, hopefully we'll be able to use that to help produce uh, better music. Um, my name is Ken Nath. I do appreciate you watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. Peace.